this is Sarah from Cali Craft Cocktails, and we are gonna be making cocktails, and I'm gonna be asking her some questions about drinks. How do you gather your inspiration for making cocktails? Um, I, I listen to what the couple says, right? Okay. So, and I and, that's important. Yeah, and as you know, like every time we do a shoot or, or a wedding or anything, I always make sure I get the mood board, I get the colors. You, okay. you, you called me the color queen yesterday. Color which queen, I love. literally. She gives me four colors. She goes, "This is the mood board," and, and then she makes you get, all the drinks yeah. exactly to those colors. Yeah, and yeah. Um, so also like if the couple have like a funny story or something, like I had a couple who um, met in Hawaii uh -huh. and they were barefoot on the beach and they were drinking pineapple margaritas and all this stuff and so I was like you know what I have a cocktail called the barefoot and it's a pineapple margarita and we've got we, we put some jalapeno in there so that's Ooh. like their that was the his and hers you nice. know what I mean so it, it, it's about making them you know everyone wants to remember the time that they met and it's all very lovely so. oh awesome okay so what are some different things that you've implemented during COVID um, so we are wearing masks normally I would be wearing masks we've already been tested so we're good to go so masks, we're doing temperature checks at the start of the shift, at the end of the shift, in the middle of the shift. We're mm -hmm. sanitizing all the time. We're making sure customers, um, you know, who are six foot away from the bar need to have their mask on as well. Sometimes people are getting a little uh, drunk uh, Too throughout close. the night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We make sure we can't, we can't serve you unless you're, unless you're masked at the bar. And um, yeah, we, all, we also have an option of COVID testing at the door if okay. you want. So I, I've recommended that to a lot of people, which is, uh, it's a finger prick test. You get the results within two minutes and then everyone can go inside and we can all be happy. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's really awesome. So how many bartenders are needed uh, for 50 guests? So for 50, we do uh, two. For 40, it's one. If I'm feeling generous, I'll give you two for 40. D it <laughs> Does that make sense? So anything up to like 30 is one. I'll do, if, if there's 40, I can do 40 personally, but if it's like somebody else, or if, if I know that they're gonna be just getting absolutely wrecked, I'll give you two. Okay. Depends how generous I'm feeling, but generally it's one bartender per 40 people. Um, if it's like say 120, I'll give you three. But okay. technically you would only get three for 150. Got it. Yes. Okay, so this is one of my biggest questions. Yes. Cash bar. No, I oh, why would you even ask me that? Obviously okay. not, no. Um, Pros and cons. Yeah whatever you're gonna make up in savings you're gonna lose in atmosphere and aesthetic and people getting pissed off and 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 I've never done a cash bar won't do it refuse to do it it's you know as you know all my packages are completely all-inclusive right. everything's paid for everything's done you don't have to worry it's unlimited it's not like you get five drinks and then you're done or it's right. not you know what I mean yeah and the thought of like, oh, I don't have any cash and then they can't drink and they're handing me a wet dollar bill. Like I'm not with a, t you know, a, a till. Let's just get it all paid for. It's done. Right. It's, you know, and then also, people, you don't have to worry about telling people to bring cash to the wedding. Yes, like yes. it's too much. Yes. Okay. So top three things that couples should consider when choosing a mixologist. I'm going to call you a mixologist because okay. you're like the color queen. <laughs> Uh, when choosing a vendor. Okay, number one, don't don't go with the cheapest vendor. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a big mistake. D cheaper, they're cheaper for a reason, right? Don't go with the cheapest vendor. Um, okay. pe people for some reason don't want to spend a lot of money on the bar, which baffles me because I think the bar is within the top three things that, yeah. are, that are very important. Yeah, supposed to complement the food, the drinks, exactly. the whole atmosphere. Yeah. yeah, keeps the party going. Yes. Um, what was the second thing? Don't uh, don't do a D D D D U I. Don't have, don't have a DUI, but don't do a DIY. DIY. Don't do a DIY. It's your wedding. Like again, it's your wedding. You want to chill. You want to relax. You want to get into your dress. You don't want to be running to Costco and buying this and buying that. And then also you've got the added stress of like, okay, at 11 o'clock, this guy's hammered. That, that's, you know, nobody's looking after the bar. Right. And then we've run out of ice. And now because it's not all included, the bride is now trying to figure out how to get ice. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's not. And also just buying your own alcohol. Like you don't know what you're buying. You don't know if it's going to yeah. mix well. And so having someone that's all inclusive is super important and you don't have to worry about it. Like right. there's been some weddings that I've planned that they've run out of ice and it it's not the best situation. There's hot drinks. People are unhappy, yeah. hot beer. Like just let her do it. It's my job. Like, you know, it's her what I mean? job. that's what I do. Ten right? years. Do you know how much simple? I, just don't, I can't. <laughs> um, and then the third one was, oh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I've had a couple of people say we really want um, X, Y, Z drink. 
-hmm. just because of the name of the drink, but they've never actually tried the drink. Or okay. they'll be like, it's Christmas, we want a cranberry, whatever. And I'm like, have you tried this cranberry, whatever? And it's like disgusting, the drink, right? right? But they want it because they saw it in a pretty photo. Right. Don't do that. Just let me, again, just let me do the thing. Um, I had a couple, the Christians, the, the Christian one and Christian two, and they said, we want uh, a Manhattan as one of our cocktails. And okay. I was like, you guys tried a Manhattan? And they're like, no, it's where we met. And I was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, here's a Manhattan. And they're like, ugh. So don't, yeah, don't do that. Um, yeah. So, so, Sarah. Yeah. What are we making today? So I'm actually, I got this, um, this is for you. Okay. Right? So I'm I know excited. I was seeing you today. Um, it's a bit of, it's, it's just like a bit of a twist on a, on an espresso martini Ooh. and a latte. It's called a latte, latte martini. Okay. La latte martini. I love it. So it's going to be two ounces of espresso. Oh, two ounces of espresso. Okay. And Which then, I don't know if I mentioned already. She coffee? makes all of her syrups uh, mm. herself. Natural. Yes. I do drink coffee. I was brewing. Okay, good. I was brewing that last night for you. So it's two ounces of espresso. I just got to read off thing. Half an ounce of Bailey's. Okay. Okay. And then you want half an ounce of ah, half and half. Look at that. It's already good to go. I'm going to do it over the sink. So you guys don't even know. I've got a sink back here. Yeah. Okay. She's got everything back here. I've got a sink back here. It's her magic uh, potion My mom's back here. here. Um, the vodka, half an ounce of vodka. Okay. We're almost done. And that's it, I think. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, let's shake that. And you always want to taste your drink. Oh, you want to shake it? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Right. Good, good keep going, keep going. Do it, make sure you're going up and yeah. Because if you go this back and forth. Work out. <laughs> okay. So. Alright, perfect. And what you're doing there is you're emulsifying it and you're getting that you're getting that heavy whipping cream to really foam up. Okay. That's why you have nice arms. Thank you. Work out. Look at that. So this is a latte martini. It's perfect, look at that. Absolutely perfect. And then, what we're gonna do to garnish is we're just gonna do... Oh, look at that. Thank this is know. in my color palette, it's nude. <laughs> this is color number three. Color queen. Thank you. So here is the test. Oh God, I'm oh, shaking. I, I did fill it up too far to be fair. Mm, 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 mm. That's the shot right there. Oh my gosh. That's so good. That's pretty so good. So smooth. <laughs> These are the dangerous drinks that yeah. get you drunk. Yeah. You can't taste any alcohol. And I'm not even a vodka fan. Mm -hmm. What's well, only got half and an ounce of vodka? Good. It's only got half an ounce of vodka. It's very hard to not like this drink. This is so good. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Sarah, <laughs> such a pleasure chatting with you. Um, Make sure you guys subscribe, hit like, let us know in the comments what else you want to hear. Um, definitely meet Sarah at our house. This drink is very bomb. I'm going back for another sip. This is inviting people to my house. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.